In this video, we'll be covering the stems workflow from stems rendering on Ninja DJ Desktop to accessing stems on the Prime 4 Plus. To DJ with stems, you'll first need to render your tracks for stems in Ninja DJ Desktop. Go to enginedj.com slash downloads to double check that you have the latest version installed. You can also quickly check to see if your Engine DJ desktop version is the most recent by clicking on the logo in the upper left hand corner. The ability to render stems is available in versions 4.2 and beyond. Once you've opened Engine DJ desktop, you'll notice a stems playlist at the top of your collection list. This is where you will see all of the tracks that you've rendered for stems. To render a single track for stems, you can simply drag and drop the track into the stems playlist. You can also right click on the track in your collection and select Create Stems. If this is the first time you're rendering stems, you will be prompted to download and install the stems renderer, which will require an internet connection to complete the process. To render more than one track at a time, you can simply select multiple tracks by holding Command or Shift and clicking on multiple tracks on Mac, or use Control or Shift on a PC. Then, click and drag the files to the stems playlist or right click and select Create Stems. If you'd like to render an entire playlist for stems, simply drag and drop the playlist into the stems playlist. When files are rendering for stems, you'll see a progress bar at the bottom of the screen. You'll also see a stems icon in the stems column for tracks that have been rendered or are currently rendering. You can easily drag this column to a new location if you'd like. It's important to note that any tracks that have been rendered for stems will remain in their current playlists. Rendering tracks for stems will create an additional stems data file that is roughly double the size of the original song file. To remove the stems from a track, simply select the track or tracks, right click, and select Remove Stems from Collection. Stems can only be accessed on Engine DJ hardware, like the Denon DJ Prime 4 Plus. Once you've finished rendering and are ready to pack your USB, SD card, or internal hard drive, the process is the same as normal. Just open up Sync Manager, select the drive you want to export to, select the playlist that you want to pack to the drive, and then click Export to Drive. Stems for these tracks will automatically be packed. Once the export process is complete, eject the drive and insert it into your Prime 4 Plus. You'll notice that there is a stems playlist at the top of your playlist tree. This playlist will show all of the tracks on your drive that have been rendered for stems. As you navigate through your other playlists, you will see a stems icon by the title of tracks that have been rendered for stems. Load a track like normal, then press the Hot Cube Pad Mode button a second time to access the stems pad mode. The top four pads will light up in blue and will isolate or remove the vocal, melody, bass, and drums of the track. Man, no, I'm a baseline vandal, 90 degree aside a right angle. Oh, I got my hand on my handle. Life's been a gamble, cable scandal. These elements will be listed on the screen if the performance pad view is enabled for the selected screen layout. Hand on my handle. To enable an instant acapella, press the left parameter button on the Prime 4 Plus. To enable an instant instrumental, press the right parameter button. That's it! Make sure you follow Engine DJ on social media to stay in the loop regarding additional stem enhancements and future updates to Engine DJ. Now, go out and get creative with Engine DJ stems. Yeah.